two days ago, I went to Arlington at the request of people that lost their children. There'll always be children to those people. You understand that. That's not politically incorrect a thing to say. The mother comes up, I lost my child. But, you know, the child is a soldier. And lost the child because of Biden and because of Kamala, as just as though they had the gun in their hand because it was so badly handled. It should have been done at Bagram, which is the big air base. It shouldn't have been done at a small little airport right in the middle of town where people stormed it. Uh, it was a true disaster. And they asked me if I'd come and celebrate with them three years, three years. They died three years ago. And I said, I'm going to try. I got to know them because I brought them here, actually. One night, they, they almost all came here. And they said, I wonder if Trump will actually come and see us. I heard they were here. I came, so him. And we stayed for like four hours listening to music up on a deck right upstairs. Beautiful. And they were great people. So they called me over the last couple of weeks, and they said, we're going to have a reunion, our three-year reunion. Would you be able to come? And it was very hard for me to do it logistically, but I said, I'll get it done. And I got there, and we had a beautiful time. I didn't run away. I didn't, you know, I didn't just walk in, shake hands, and walk out like people do. And I wasn't looking at my watch like Joe Biden does. And it was amazing. So I did it for them. I didn't do it for me. I don't need the publicity. I mean, I get more publicity probably than anybody. You would know that better than me, but I think maybe more than anybody, maybe more than anybody that's ever lived. I don't know, but I don't think anyone could have any more. Every time you turn on television, there's like nine different stories all on different topics in the world about Trump. As an example, you interview a lot of people, good people, successful people. Let's see how you do with this interview versus them, okay? I mean, I'll... I can tell you right now, you're going to get the highest numbers you've ever had by sometimes a factor of 10. But <laughs> but um, when a gold star family asks me to come in and spend time with them, and then they said, sir, we did a ceremony, and then we went down to the graves, which was quite a distance away. They said, sir, would you come to the grave. And then they said when we were there, it's very sad actually, because these people shouldn't have died. They shouldn't have died. They died because of Biden and because of Kamala. They died because it's just like if they pulled the trigger, okay? Now, I don't know if that's controversial to say, but I don't think it is. Afghanistan was the most incompetently run operation I think I've ever seen, military or otherwise. They're incompetent. But the families asked me if I'd go. I did go. Then the family said, could we have a picture at the tombstone of my son? And we did. Son or daughter. There was a daughter, too. And I took numerous pictures with the families. I don't know of anybody else that was in the pictures, but there were mostly families, I guess. That was it. And then I left. I, I spent a lot of time with them. Then I left, and I get home that night, and I get a call that the Biden administration with Kamala is accusing me of using Arlington for publicity. I was in use, just the opposite, just the opposite. And, and actually, did you see, it just came out, the families actually put out a very strong statement defending me. They said, we asked him to be there. 